This is my body. This is my blood. Happy are those who come to my supper. Complete the pattern. Solve the puzzle. Turn the key. <laughs> hey guys, Denobi2 here with Benjamin. Hey. On this episode of the show, we are going to talk about Pinhead from 3-0, part two. Okay, Benjamin, so the pre-order just came out on Sideshow. 199 bucks. I've had a lot of folks reach out to me, ask me what we think about it or what I think about it, and we're doing this. This is part two of the Pinhead. Awesomeness. It's fairly impressive. I like I like the sculpt. I like the figure itself. I, lo I love the costume with the real hooks, right? It has the uh, real hooks inside the, of The real them. hooks. Uh, real metal pins yes, in his head. Real metal pins. Real metal pins. Um, he has your hands with the worms. With the worms. Because, I mean, that's definitely going to you know? go ahead. Oh, God, yeah. I mean, you're you know. Gonna, you're going to do it that you way. Know. And um, he, he has two other pairs of hands, and he comes with the box, the... What is it called? The puzzle box is, is the what Luchador I call it. The Luchador puzzle box. Luchador. <laughs> the, <laughs> the Le Mans. The, the, the Le Mans. The Le Mans Luchador puzzle box. Yeah, the puzzle box. Uh, yeah. we, we massacred that, but yeah, it's so. hard to say anyways. Yeah. Um, and overall, he looks really, really good. It's 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 incredible. The and price is 199 It's 199 bucks, and this will be my first true horror one six uh, scale figure that's going to join my collection because I'm not necessarily a big horror fan. But I love Pinhead. I grew up with him, watching the movies, and I'm actually really, really excited for this. Yeah, story. I'm a huge horror fan. I think this is like a must-have if you love Pinhead. Uh -huh. Either way, I mean, come on. I mean, you just think about all the movies with Pinhead in it and you just say, hey, I'm buying this. You know what I'm thinking? Yeah. But there is a but now. There's, there's okay. a couple buts. All right, so I'm going to start first you with go. Pinhead, you don't get a stand. What is that, dude? What's all that about? Are you serious? At yeah. $200? I don't really understand it. It doesn't make any sense. Like what? Yeah. Hold on a second. Yeah. Like when you told me it didn't come with the stand, I was like, what? Yeah. Like, hold on a second. <laughs> yeah. Three, three zero had the opportunity to, you know, uh, give us a stand, even give us a small diorama of, of, of an actual scene. I would have been happy with a cardboard image of Hellraiser 3, a scene from the movie, but no. No, so. no, you really don't get that. You're not going to get that. No. Uh, you could go ahead and print it out, I guess you could say, and put no. it behind it. But, okay, <laughs> you're not getting it. No. No stand. What is the other gripe? My, uh, my other gripe is that I feel that they should have included a static head because Pinhead, yep. he delivers so much emotion with just that static face, that no emotional face. And the fact that they give us... The one sculpt of his of his face angry, showing like, teeth. Like, yeah, it doesn't work for me because I felt you want like this. Yeah, as a kid, <laughs> Pinhead was really creepy for me. Just as he's walking down the corridors with no emotion, and I, I felt that's how he should have been portrayed. I agree. I mean, a second head would have been perfect for this figure. Yeah. But I think a stand is really a necessity. I, I don't know. I don't really understand it I myself. Know. I mean, the stand is really like you. What a two hundred dollar figure with no stand it falls over and just there goes a pin. I, I will be. Yeah. It's, I, I don't understand it either. It, it doesn't make any. It doesn't make any real real sense. Two hundred bucks, man. Um, <laughs> So this is my first three zero coming into my collection. It would be mine, sir. My, mine also. Well, yours, okay. First Benjamin also. too, okay. So. Um, but I, there is one thing that I kind of wasn't sure, and maybe you guys can comment on this because we have a lot of, of, of followers out there, a lot of viewers. They love to comment. We love your guys' comments. Uh -huh. So please, does he look a little fat? Because he looks kind of like he's a little tubby. I saw that too in the in the uh, actual photos. I was blaming it to the actual kind costume, like, like but Pinhead is a you know tall, slender man, yeah, and very Extremely you know slender. very sl yeah. yeah with with that whole look of gothness and everything. Right. So I I don't know if it's it's a uh, prototype you know and it's still under development. Or maybe it's um, the costume that's around the body, yeah. but he does look a little bloated. Yeah, I, it it does. It it really does. So that's something that we're going to talk about because he does look a little bit chubby he just should be a little bit more slimmer is yeah, what we're he should saying just be streamlined just very streamlined you know, leave a comment let us know because i'm kind of like i'm interested to see yeah. how I, you know i talk to my buddies like no now so that we don't get attacked on this 
Um, Hellraiser 3 uh, was filmed in 1993, <laughs> and he is a lot older because because the original one was 10 <laughs> so, years. So, so the I original Pinhead was starving, like an actor, well, like a starving yeah. actor. Well, no, but seriously. But after the third one, he's yeah. been eating buffets all this time. I believe there was a 10-year difference between the first <laughs> Hellraiser. Yeah, no. So he's putting uh, some weight to the third one. I don't know. I mean, actors gain <laughs> weight now as time goes on. Because now he's been making yeah. money. Now he can actually eat. He's not a starving uh -huh. actor anymore because he's so, a Pinhead. Yeah. That makes so, sense, dude. I agree with you. <laughs> Yeah. I'm sorry. Go it ahead. Could very well I I agree. I agree with yeah. you. I get it. The but years you, go on, so he you know. So <laughs> yeah, you know. I can't look at it straight. I'm telling you, this is. I think that's the funniest thing you ever said on on the show ever. You think For, so? I'm I really, really serious. You're about like it. he's a starving actor, and now that he's in the third one, he's been making. I don't. I mean, the years that's go that. by. Okay. Okay. So overall, yeah. what, do, what do we think about this figure? I it's it's it is a complete two thumbs up for me. I I am getting it. Um, I will be very critical. I I will have a lot of criticism about it. Like I said, this is my first three zero. Benjamin just said it's his first three zero yep. figure. So yep. uh, I only tend to trust Hot Toys when it comes to their final products. I don't trust Hot Toys' price instruction. And that's that's a topic for something else. But. We're going over there now. <laughs> but, but yeah, I don't, I, I don't want to shoot off the course here. Saying that, like I said, I am still excited that uh, we are getting the pinhead. I think it's a yeah. solid, solid, solid yeah. figure. I don't think there's anything really bad. Now, the price at $200 without a stand, I'm going to say it again, yeah. an extra head sculpt is a little bit high. It's I a little bit high. I'd probably look at like 170 175 For three there. zero, they are for not three zero, they're actually kind of low. I mean, like a lot yeah. of the Game of Thrones is like around 160 or something yeah. like that. You know? So like, my thing is, is like, I like the figure. I wish it came with certain things, but overall, I would buy it. Just go buy a stand and then, you know, yeah. put it underneath him like a blank. And just, yeah. you know, I just think that it's completely stupid. I still can't get over it. Well, I'm getting it. Benjamin's getting it. All right. Let us know what you guys think. Let us know, guys. Let us know in your comments below. We love your comments, guys. Absolutely. It's excellent. Thank you so much, you guys. Like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Denobi2 here. Benjamin. See ya. Human dream. Such fertile ground for sowing the seeds of torment. You're so ripe, Joey, and it's harvest time. It's not fair, you can't! <laughs> Save your tears. I'll reap your sorrow. Slowly.